you. Alan is our uh, incumbent MP and speaks for the Liberals. Um, there's a couple of chairs at the front. People are arriving late. If you've got spare chairs, can you just shuffle along the road so people can get in? Thanks. Um, and our next speaker is Mike Sullivan, who is standing for the NDP. Thank you, Judith. And thank you to the organizers and to the Legion, the Mount Lebanon Community Association, to the Green Hills Community Association, the, Mount, the Weston Village Residents Association, and the Silverthorn Ratepayers Association, who've gotten together and made this sort of a community-based uh, all-candidates meeting. It's been great working with them. It's an important election. This is about electing a government that will work for all Canadians, not just a few. But Stephen Harper's lost touch. Stephen Harper and his conservative government has refused new Democrat proposals to make life more affordable for everybody here by removing HST from your home heating and from your uh, uh, electricity bills. He's refused to make life more affordable for the thousands, millions probably, of seniors that are living in poverty by improving their uh, guaranteed annual income supplement. Those are things that the new Democrats put forward and that the Conservatives refuse to do. He won't improve pensions. Period. We want to double the Canada Pension Plan because it's becoming very clear that private pension plans just aren't working for us. He won't um, improve the situation for students who are trying to go to university. The New Democrats have a proposal to transfer a bunch of money to the provinces so that the tuition fees can be reduced. As you all know, Ontario has the highest tuition fees in the country. And for a place like your Southwestern, it's almost impossible for people to go to university without borrowing huge sums of money. We need to elect new Democrats to Parliament because we believe that the new Democrats have the, the wherewithal and the social justice ideas that need to be implemented to make this a great place. This, where we live, needs to be a great place again. In this community, um, we need effective representation in Parliament, but too often, the Liberals have actually supported Stephen Harper for something like 104 votes. The Liberals voted with the government, and including on the uh, the thing that they keep talking about, the cuts in income tax to corporations, the Liberals actually supported that when it came through. I know about the issues that we need to deal with in this riding. I have lived here for 19 years. I've raised a family here. I work with the community on the Western Community Coalition, on the Mount Dennis Western Network, on the Clean Train Coalition. I've been the chair or co-chair of those organizations. But it's almost impossible to get things done from just a volunteer perspective, and that's why I'm running. I think we need leadership in this riding. I think we need leadership on the air rail link issue. I've been on the forefront. I've actually met with the Minister of Transportation on the issue of getting funding for electrification. I didn't just attend a photo op. I have made sure that the TTC is trying to create good, well-paying jobs on the former Kodak lands so the people in this riding can have access and your youth can have access to good green jobs in this community. And thank you.